counterpart, Billy Press, just did an amazing interview with C.C. Rogers. And you know, the song has so many wonderful artists on it. And I, the, oh gosh, it's Jeff Ray. Come on over, Jeff. Oh my God, it's so nice to see you. How are you? Wonderful. Here on the red carpet, honey, this song is so amazing. And we're so happy that you're a part of it. Tell us a little bit about how did you get involved with this project with C.C.? First, I'd like to say you look lovely. Thank you. And Julie Black. And also, C.C. Rogers, who I've known probably 30 years. Yeah. We used to be at MCA Records together. I would see him in passing. And then he, Charles Dixon, I give credit to Charles Dixon, because Absolutely. Charles Dixon was the one who put the whole thing together. That's right. And then when I found out it was C.C. Rogers, then he told me about Kenny Bogan, who I was a fan of for forever. And then Aaron K. Gray. The young guy who I like because he makes everything right, it's all together. Right. And I thought it was a great project. I said I wanted to be a part of it. For sure. Yeah, well, you have some great hits yourself. Just tell the viewing audience a little bit more about yourself. How did you get into music? You've got such an affluent background. I think a lot of people really don't know just how involved you are in the music industry. Well, so uh, at Uptown Records in, yeah. in 1900. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> going way, way back. Yeah, going way, way back. And during that time at Uptown, you know, of yeah. course, I discovered Mary J. Blige. Was there when he signed Joe to see. You beat and me to that. I, yes. <laughs> and then um, went on to be an executive. It made all the Casey and JoJo records. Right. Worked on Eve's Bayou soundtrack, The Hurricane, How Stella Gonna Groove Back. That's right. And then went on to do other things as well. And now I'm back being an artist. So it's like 360 degrees. I started out as an artist, mm -hmm. went from writer, producer, executive, and back to being yeah. an artist. A&R and right. everything. Now, yes. Mary J, was she singing for you or? You know what happened? I used to work at General Motors in Tarrytown, New York. Really? Yeah, and her stepfather, little Jimmy, uh, told me that his daughter, his stepdaughter, sang. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, let me uh, hear what she did. So back then they bring bought in cassettes. Okay. Back in the day, CDs yeah. CDs or anything like that. So he bought a cassette in and she was singing in mm -hmm. Anita Baker song. I think it was caught up in the rapture. Mm -hmm. I heard it. And then at the time, I was just being signed to Uptown. Okay. And then I passed it on to my management at the time, which was JDW, and they gave it to Andre Harrell. Wow. And the rest is history. That was in 1989. Yeah, history. And you would have never thought that that young lady would be the big superstar that she is today. No. You just never know. And we all have our paths. Right. So, uh, another thing that you have, uh, one of your songs was on the Strictly Rhythm. Strictly Business Strictly soundtrack, Business which soundtrack. was You Called right. and Told you Me, Go Single. Me. That's right. And I was produced by Dave Hall and written by myself and Eric Miller. Right. And uh, it's still playing today. It's 20, 26 years old now. I know. And we go way back ourselves. And he used to book me I used to book shows famous, for you at Famous yes. Artist Agency. That's and, and, right. And Julie had to also oh understand she was a, one of the premier booking agents at the time. Oh, this and she was about and, you, and she, not me. I know it is, but... But, you know, you really took care of us when we was yeah. doing it, man. You made sure we got our money. You That's made sure right. we was in the right. It's That's not just right. taking the money and putting us in the right venue to be right. seen. So That's right. thank you again. You know, being an agent is really all about being in the background but just doing the right things to keep people uh, trusting you and, and gaining respect in the industry. Absolutely. And you've done that a lot yourself. Yeah. Just quickly tell us one more thing about yourself. I mean, what, what else is on the horizon for you besides this wonderful record? Anything well, this else project coming? here is great. I'm also doing a jazz project. Oh, great. And I I have a romance novel coming out. Really? Yes, and I also have a shea butter that I do called So So Real Butter. So skin products, skin everything. products, books, new singles, jazz projects, house projects, right. and just having right, fun. Right. That's what the key is. Well, you're well rounded. You are Thank gorgeous. You, so you are handsome, brown <laughs> skin so brother. <laughs> Ladies, get a good look at him, Mr. Thank Jeff you. Red, here on the red carpet. Julie Black. All right. We all come together. Love you, man. We all pull together. God bless you. That's what we're doing. Take care. Take care. All right. Let's see you.